Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys episode 7, holy crap, of the project using all my makeup. So if you have no clue what this is, I will have the first video linked up above, the little introduction video. It's going to be long though, so I don't want to do a lot of explaining right now, but pretty much I'm going through all of my makeup and using every item that I own at least once and then deciding if I want to keep it, if I don't, and I'm ranking everything with like a colored star so you can see like the stars on top of all of those so that's how I'm ranking them and determining whether or not I'm going to keep them or get rid of them so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna show you guys all the products that I was using in the last episode and then I'll pick out products for the next couple weeks let's jump in and I'm a little flustered right now because I just spent like 45 minutes getting the camera right <laughs> and so uh, if I sound a little bit peeved that's why I need some of this coffee let's start with the fragrances because I did grab these first as far as the little sample perfumes I'm getting rid of three the Lacoste one the Narcissa Rodriguez for her and the Artelier Orange Sanguine because they didn't smell that great or didn't last I'm keeping Giorgio Armani C clean skin and Derek Crosby Silent Street as far as the full perfume that I was trying, this is from Luxury Scent Box, and this is the Kelly and James Reserves Notes of Chardonnay perfume, and I actually really like this one. Um, and I figured I can finish it up because it's just like a little sample and there's not a ton left. Okay, so moving on to lip balms, we've got four. So the Rimmel Oh My Gloss, I like this one. It's not the best thing. <sighs> I swear I gave it a yellow. I've decided with lip products that I'm not gonna put, oh my God. Oh my god! You know when like you're trying to do something and like it's just not working and everything is going wrong and it's just the most fucking frustrating feeling in the world? That's that's my morning so far. Okay, this is just a tinted lip oil in Master Pink. Um, I'm gonna keep it around just because I don't have a ton of lip oils that are tinted and I like it. And then another tinted lip oil is the elf tinted lip oil I think this is in nude kiss I like this one better just because I like the color of the tint better it's just a green star I'm not putting like perfect color coding stars on all of um, my lip products unless they're yellow or red I think I'm just using like silver and green specifically green just to mark that I've tried it and I'm keeping it so like you'll see a lot of green in there because there's so many lip products and I put, if I put stars on every single one or specifically blue or silver stars on every single one I would run out so I'm marking red and yellow and blue like my absolute favorites and then green is just like I'm keeping it like I like it it's not like a yellow but I'm just, I just don't want to waste a star on it so that's what that one is Too Faced extreme lip injections I'm keeping this one as well I actually love the way that this makes my lips look and feel it's like hydrating and plumping at the same time and I'm a fan of like serious buzzing so I really like this one we'll give it green it's definitely my favorite lip plumper though. And then lastly, we have the Glam Glow Pout Mud in uh, Birthday Suit. This is just a tinted lip balm. I'm not gonna swatch these ones because it's just a lip balm, but I really like this one as well. It has a good amount of color, but it's not like crazy colored. So I like all four of those and I'm keeping all four. Okay, moving on to lip crayons. We've got three. My favorite one is this Hourglass Lip Stylo. An influencer that's what it looks like it's just a perfect nude and I absolutely love it so that one got a blue star and then I also really love the Revlon Ultra HD in Dawn this one's a little bit darker than the other two that I have and shinier and it's absolutely beautiful on the lips I love this one the only reason I got a green star is because I like the other two of this brand a little bit better and then lastly we have the Wander Beauty this is not really a lip crown it's just like a dual ended lipstick so this side you've got like a nude called BB and it's actually really pretty and then on this side you've got Nikki Beach which is a bright pink and that's something I don't really have so I probably will keep this one even though it's yellow so those are all the lip crowns so I'm listening to your feedback because my last video that I posted some people requested that I swatch more things so I'm doing that for those people that requested it and most of the people said they like it better when I pick the makeup out of my hair and my drawers so that's what I'm gonna do because that's just the majority if you don't like that I'm so sorry but I just got to go with the majority and it seems like when I don't do this I get a lot of people saying they don't like it so 
I'm gonna pull from here. Next we have lip liners. So the one that I'm getting rid of is ColourPop Bound. It's just not the color for me. It's really gray toned and I don't like gray tones on my lips. And then we've got L'Oreal Mastermind, which is like such a beautiful, oh, they look identical, but they're not. The This one is a little bit less gray and it's super creamy and it doesn't look as great on my lips so we're gonna keep that one and then i'm also gonna keep the bh cosmetics lip liner in red just because if i'm gonna keep a red lipstick i need to keep a red liner and this is the only one i have okay i pulled out three brow products the anastasia beverly hills beauty express for brows and eyes is one of my favorite brow powders and so i'm definitely keeping that one this has been around for a long time and it is beat to shit but i love it the scone cosmetics brow pencil i'm getting rid of it doesn't have the best spoolie on this side is a little big. The uh, the pencil is dried up and I have way too many that I like to keep one that's just okay. So that one's gonna go. And then the NYX brow pencil in Brunette. I'm putting a yellow star on it because it's just a little bit too warm, but most likely it'll be like what I throw next into this project pan. So I'm gonna keep it, but it's yellow. So that was our first declutter. So these are the three actual mascaras that I pulled. And then I pulled the mascara melt off, but I decided that's like not the skincare. Um, so I didn't include it again in here just because it's not actually a mascara. But we have three mascaras. So the only one that I'm getting rid of is the Tarte Lights Camo Lashes because I just don't feel like it does anything for my lashes and it's just not for me. So I'm getting rid of that one. The Too Faced Better Than Sex got a blue star. This is one of my favorite mascaras. And then the Maybelline Great Lash in blue. I gave it a green star just because like I'm going to keep it because it's my only blue mascara. I'm not necessarily going to wear it all the time. It's not like my favorite mascara, but it's my favorite blue mascara. So I'm just going to keep it for that reason. Um, and that's why it's green. Next up, we've got four liners. The first one is the L'Oreal Brown Gel Liner. This is green just because, again, it's the only brown gel liner I have. And that is what is swatched on the very bottom there. You know what? I changed my mind about one. Okay, so the next one up on my hand the second to the bottom is the Milani Stay Matte 17 Hour Liquid Liner and it's just like not black it's kind of gray it was kind of easy to apply but I'm just not into it so that one's gonna go and then lastly I've got two color pop liners best O is the purple and that got blue because it's my favorite purple liner and then swerve is black and that got silver those are the top two right there, and I really like them. They're super pigmented, last really well, and I love them. So those are staying for sure. Next up, we have powder shadows. The first one is the NYX Glitter in Rose, and I have it swatched here over the glitter glue that I also had, and um, obviously I'm keeping that one. It's beautiful. Then we have ColourPop Birthday Girl, and this one got blue, and it's the bottom one there. And again, obviously blue, I'm keeping it. And then the middle one here, this is a Galactic eyeshadow in the Star Shadow in Vintage. And it's like a, this the one in the middle. It's like a really unique purpley taupe color, but I tried it on my eyelids and it just didn't look really good, but I wanna keep trying it. So I put a yellow star on it because I wanna come back to that and give that one more shot. So I'm keeping all three of the powder shadows and I'm going to be covered in glitter now, but it's so worth it because that was pretty. So then we have four cream shadows. Now, obviously the glitter glue I'm keeping, it's the only glitter glue I have. And as you could see, it worked really well. Okay, so then we have cream eyeshadows and the first one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bronze Sheen. That is that top swatch there and it's so pretty but I'm just struggling to figure out how to use it. So it's a yellow star, I wanna work with it some more. Then the next one down is the Mally Shadow Stick Extra in Autumn Shimmer, and that is that middle one. It's a beautiful kind of like rose gold, more rose than anything color. And then the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Golden Pink. This one got a blue star, and that is that bottom one that's more golden. All three of these are really, really pretty. So I'm keeping all three of those, but that bronze sheen one will go in with the yellows to be determined at a future time. Okay, then next up we have three face powders. The Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder is my favorite loose setting powder, or maybe setting powder ever, so that one got a blue star. Obviously I'm keeping it. I also really love the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Powder. This one got a silver star just because it's not as good as the Peach Perfect one, but I do really like this one. Lastly, we have the Maybelline Super Say Better Skin. This one... 
I really like it. It's dark for me right now, so I honestly used it more as a bronzer, but this is a really good powder formula. It's really full coverage, so I can use it as almost like a powder foundation, which I've kind of been getting into lately, and it works as a bronzer, so I'm keeping all three of those. Okay, next up we have the three single highlighters that I had for this series. The first one is the Mali Beauty Stardust one. I gave this one a green star because it's not my favorite highlighter ever, but I do really like it. This is the one swatched there on top. I'm keeping all three of these, just so you know. Then we have the Sleek Makeup one, and I swatched that bottom golden one, because that's the one that I use the most, but I will use the other ones, and that's not golden at all. It's the one in the middle there. And then lastly, we have the Milani Candlelight Spotlight Highlighter. I think that this was supposed to be like a more subtle highlight, and it kind of is. It's that one on the bottom. And I made it yellow just because, I don't know if it's worth keeping this whole thing just for that highlight, because I'm not going to use that shimmery bronzer or blush, but I want to give it another shot, so that one's yellow. Cream highlighters, I have four. The first one is the Milani Contour and Highlight. You have a liquid highlight and a cream bronzer, and those are these top two swatches right here. Honestly, I haven't really used the liquid highlight a lot, but it's really pretty, but this contour I absolutely love, so that one got a blue star and I'm keeping it. Next up, we have Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Opal, and that is this one swatched right here, and it is so stunning on the face. I absolutely love it. It's more of like a subtle highlight, and I mean, compared to all these other highlights, it almost looks like nothing, but like, do you see that sheen so that one got a blue star I'm keeping that one as well then the next one down is the hello halo by wet n wild that's this one here and the last time I put it on my face it did not blend out well so I'm gonna keep this one for my body only I'm literally gonna put it with like my body bronzers and it'll stay there because it's just not it's just not gonna work for my face and then the last one is the cover effects in, uh, I don't know, Custom Enhancer Drops, Illuminating Drops, whatever, in Halo. I keep putting it over there in Halo, and look at that. I have nothing like that, and I would love this on my body, so I'm keeping that one as well. And I just gave it green because it's unique, so I'm keeping it because I have nothing like it, and it's beautiful. So those are all of the highlighters, and the only, I'm not getting rid of any of them, but this one's leaving my makeup collection. Okay, next up we have Cream Bronzer and Cream Blush. So... This e.l.f., I think this is like the Aqua Beauty bronzer thing. It's a cream bronzer and a cream blush, and I love this bronzer, and the blush grew on me. Those are the top two swatches here, and I love them. I love the formula. They blend out so nicely, and I'm definitely keeping this one. It got a blue star. And then next up, we have the Tristique uh, Baby Blush Stick in Bora Bora Coral, and that is swatched here, and I like this blush better than that one. It's like the perfect tone for me. And it just makes your te cheeks look perfectly flush, so I'm keeping that one as well. And it's silver. And then we have two concealers. I'm not going to swatch these because they're concealers. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is just so good. Definitely keeping it. I do want a lighter shade, though. And then the Infallible Pro Glow. This is just another color, so I put a green sticker on it because I already put the blue one on the other one. But I'm keeping both of these. I also pulled out this L'Oreal Infallible Concealer Palette. And this one's actually going to get a silver star as well. It's really nice for like a lighter makeup day. I like having the different color options. Yeah, I'm surprisingly keeping this. I didn't think I was going to, but I'm, I'm going. I like having options and I really like that formula. Then we have three primers. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer. This one got a blue star. It's just an amazing primer. It makes your skin look absolutely flawless. And I do find that it doesn't make me get any extra oily, which is a concern with anything for me that's not mattifying. The One Heck of a Blot Primer, oh, you guys, this is amazing. It keeps me so matte. I love it. And then the Milani Instant Touch, I, I'm getting rid of it just because I didn't use it, and I'm just not going to reach for it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Like, sometimes I'm just, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's like one of those stick primers, and I feel like it's going to make my makeup slip and slide all over. So I'm keeping these two, getting rid of this one. Then we have all of the foundations, including this. I'm getting rid of both of these Milani Conceal and Perfect foundations because I'm pretty sure they've gone bad. I don't know if you can see in here, but it's separating and like the number two one is darker than the number five. So I'm just going to toss both of them and if at the end of this I feel like I want to repurchase them, I will. But right now both of these are going to go. 
But then I'm keeping both of these. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations. This one I use the most. It got a blue star. I love that color. This is my darker one for when I'm more tan. So that one just got a green star. But this is an incredible foundation. One of my all-time favorites. I th honestly thought, because so many people have said bad things about this, I had convinced myself that I don't actually like it. This is a Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation Concealer Stick. But I really liked it. It's a lot dark for me right now, but it blends out so easily and like it's just like a nice light coverage. It lasts really well. I really like it, so I'm keeping that one. And then, I mean, this is my favorite of all time, so I'm keeping this one. This is a L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. Love it. The setting spray that I had out was the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And you guys, I actually surprisingly really, really like this one. Um, I decided not to actually put a star on it or anything because it is something that I received uh, recently in a boxy charm, and I haven't really wanted to put these things in the project, but I ran out of setting spray. So I threw this one in. I actually really like it. The sprayer. Look at this. The sprayer is beautiful, and it makes my face glowy without making it greasy, and I love it. The moisturizer. This is the Super Goop sunscreen, and it definitely made my, my makeup last not as long. But sunscreen is a necessity and this one is not expired so I'm just going to keep it until it's expired and use it um, because I need to have sunscreen and then I'll just get rid of it. Okay, so these are the eyeshadow palettes that I had for this series. I'm getting rid of this Wet n Wild one. I'm going to be honest, I don't even remember which shade it was that I wanted to keep it for and I'm not going to reach for this ever so I'm getting rid of it. But both of these ones, the Lorac Mega Pro 3 and the Tartlet Toasted, I'm keeping. They're so good. That one has like every warm shade you could ever need. This one has every neutral shade you could ever need and I love both of them. And then I also pulled out my Anastasia Beverly Hills singles and I'm keeping all of these as well. There's not a single shade in here that I'm like, mm, I may not use it. Both of these are in the new palette, which I did get, but I don't mind having them here too. And I don't have enough singles to really be encouraged to declutter these. so. I like them, I'm keeping them, and I love this palette. Like, I want so many more of these. So I pulled out a bunch of blushes. The only one that's not blue or silver is the Studio Makeup one. This is the Luminous Loose Blush. That is the one that swatched vertically right there. I like it, but it was kind of a pain to blend, so I want to give it another shot. Then this bottom one that we have here is the Ciate Blush and Glow whatever. It's fucking beautiful. Like, no way in hell I would get rid of that one. Then we have this L'Oreal True Match blush in Precious Peach, which is the next one up. It almost just looks shimmery there, but it looks, you can't even see it. It looks beautiful on the, on the skin, though. Then we have the Tarte uh, blush in Flush, which I thought I might get rid of, but it's that bright pink one there in the middle, and I'm not getting rid of it. I like it. And then last but not least, we have the Becca Amaretto and Prosecco Pop Split Pan. And that is those top two swatches, and I love it, so I'm going to keep it also. Oh, I didn't show you what you guys look like. Flush, Pert Peach, and my baby. The best blush ever. I'm not going to swatch the two bronzers that I pulled out, but they both got silver stars. They're really, really good, just not like my absolute favorites. The Neutrogena Healthy Skin Bronzer in 30 Sun Kiss I really like, and the Wet n Wild Golden Tan pressed powder is a really good bronzer for me when I'm fair and I can use it as a setting powder when I'm not so both of those are staying okay then I pulled out three bronzer palettes the Maybelline Master Contour palette in deeper is actually in my car because I was traveling with it and that one's yellow because I want to keep it and compare it to the other one and pick one and keep just one so that's what I'm gonna do but I'm also gonna keep both of these ones the Makeup Revolution blush palette um, this one is in Hot Spice, and it got a blue star. It's just, it's nice to have options. You have, like, every color, like, every basic color you could want, and I'm just, I'm keeping it. And then I'm also keeping the Alexis Ren ColourPop Topaz Palette because that bronzer, oof, so good. I don't even touch that highlighter, but the bronzer makes it worth it, so I'm keeping both of those. These are all of the lipsticks that I used for the last two weeks. Let me swatch them, and then we'll talk about them. Let's start with these first two. These are Maybelline. These are Matte uh, Lust for Blush and Touch of Spice. I'm getting rid of both of these because they have gone bad. Not because I don't like them or I don't like the color. They're the top two swatched here. This is Touch of Spice, and this is Lust for Blush. Lust for Blush is one of the first lipsticks I ever bought 
which is why I'm getting rid of it. Do you see all those little dots? Um, I'm not putting that on my lips and the other one has that too. So both of these are going to go, but they're really pretty. Maybe one day I will repurchase. Next we have the L'Oreal Color Shine and Burnish Blush. That is this one right here that's super shiny. These are beautiful and comfortable. I have another one. I can't remember if I've already done it. That one got a silver star. This one also got a silver star. Surprisingly, kind of. This is a NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Hollywood. It's that bright red in the middle, and it is stunning. It is my perfect red, and it's comfortable, so I'm keeping it. The Kate number 55, My Nude, is also staying. Got a silver star. Um, that's this one right here, and it's also just a really beautiful nude. MAC Blankety Silver, definitely also keeping. And then this one got a yellow star just because I haven't gotten a chance to like wear it with makeup, so I want to try it again. This is Laura Geller Pink Mink, and that is this bottom one. It's a very unique color. I have nothing like it. It's almost like a coral, um, but a more wearable coral, and so I want to keep it around and give it another shot because it's so unique. So those, I'm keeping these five. Okay, lip glosses. I think one of them is in my bag. I'm not going to swatch the lip glosses because they're all going to just look shiny. The two Buxom lip glosses in White Russian and uh, Bellini uh, Blue Stars keeping one of my favorite lip glosses formulas. I'm also definitely keeping Snow Pink by Revlon. This is another amazing lip gloss. Let me see. If, do you see that glitter? That top one is White Russian. That one, it's more shiny and glittery. Keeping that one, that one got a green star just because remember lip colors, I'm not doing all that. Both of the Lancome Juicy Shakers I'm keeping. I forgot how much I love these and I really need to use them because I feel like they're gonna go bad eventually. So I wanna use them. This one got a silver star as well. This is a Sephora Outrageous Effect Volume Plump Effect number two. It's a beautiful nude color, it's comfortable, it's glossy. It makes your lips look beautiful, so that one for sure keeping. This is Bare Minerals Groovy, and this one got yellow. It's just so pale, it's that bottom one, that I need to see what it looks like, like mixed with some other things to maybe lighten them up. I just don't know about that one. So those are the lip glosses. I'm keeping all of them. These are all the lipsticks, liquid lipsticks I pulled out. Somehow I pulled out eight, but that's okay. The top one is Alyssa by ColourPop. That's this top one up here, and I'm keeping it one, because it's a pretty color, but two, because it's a Kathleen Lights collab, and I'm keeping all of those. The next one is the NYX Liquid Suede in Kitten Heels. This one is yellow because I need to try it some more and see if I'll actually wear a red liquid lipstick. So it's going to go in the yellow bin, and it's also a little bit orange, and I think that may not look good on me. It's not showing up on camera, but it is a little bit orange. Then we have Bare Minerals. This one is in Boss. That's this one, and I really like it. It is more cool toned, which is not my favorite, but I'm going to keep it around because I do like that formula. Then I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Maybelline uh, Super Stay Matte Ink in, I think it's Dreamer. It's just too much of a Barbie pink for me. It just doesn't look good on me. The NYX La Lingerie in Ruffle Trim. I was going to keep it, but that swatch was really chunky, and I don't want to put that on my lips, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Then Dose of Color Stone, you guys, it looks so good. Even on me, even though I don't like mauve colors on my lips, this one I like. This Trust Fund Beauty one, I'm just going to get rid of because I have too many. I have no attachment to this one, so that one's going to go. And then the Ofra, this liquid lipstick in Santa Ana, it's this bottom one. I'm keeping it because I have nothing like it, but it's yellow. I want to keep trying it and make sure I will wear it. So, okay, so let me quickly show you guys the products I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of. Let me count really quickly. I got rid of 17 things. Let me put away the ones that I just finished, and then I'll show you guys the skincare, hair care that I've been using, and then we'll pull a new product. Okay, first. Oh, I forgot about perfume. One, two, three, four, five. Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. Uh, Armani Code. Dolce and Gabbana Desire. Polo Black, which I think is a cologne. And Nautica Bermuda Blue. Those are the perfumes. I'm gonna pull out this one, the English Laundry Rollerball. Moving in to here. Oh, we're so close to being done. I'm pulling out four crowns because I want to do, like, I don't want to do three and four, two and two and two. So the Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss in Naked. The Hourglass Lip Stylo in Believer. Uh, CoverGirl Glum Jumbo Gloss Balm in, I don't even know what shade this is. Creme Caramel. And the NARS Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. Three lip pencils. I've got Marc Jacobs. In Primrose, I've got ColourPop Razor 
and this is a Rimmel Exaggerate in Innocent. I have so many more of these. I'm gonna pull out all of these Milani ones because I've done one of them before and they're all the same. So I'm pulling out those. They're gonna go right into yellow because at some point I'm gonna compare them. This one's new, so that goes up there. That's just Vaseline, I don't need to test that out. So we'll do three and three. I'm gonna do the L'Oreal Pop Balm in 420 Bold Blush, the Bite Agave Lip Mask, and the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream in nude honey those are the three lip balms okay so brows are easy because there's only three the l'oreal brow stylist frame and set i think it's in deep brunette it cosmetics brow power universal brow pencil and taupe and then wonder brow those are the three brow products oh it's exciting to finish one. Oh no there's four we'll pull all four goof proof benefit goof proof i shouldn't do it but i'm gonna do it four mascaras the Koki Volume and Length. I already know that's going to be blue. The Tarte Tardis. The Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And the other Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Actually, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save those three because I haven't opened them. So, the ones I just mentioned, as well as Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. I already know I don't like the Superhero one, so that one I'm just going to put in right away. And then the Smashbox Full Exposure. So five mascaras because I want to leave those three. I just don't want to open them. So eyeliners. I already know I like this one because I have it in my project pan. So that one's just going to go straight into the thingy. So I'm going to pull out these five because I think that ColourPop Mr. Bing, like, I know I like the ColourPop ones. I just need to see if that one's dried out or not. The L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in Black is Black. Lord & Berry Black Pencil, Maybelline Stay Put Eyeliner, and then the Marc Jacobs Blacker Eyeliner. We'll do four and four, so four cream eyeshadows, which is really just three, because this one's an eyeshadow primer, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, the Julep Eyeshadow Stick in Coco, the Tristique Mini Shadow Crown in Venetian Gold, and then the Stila in diamond dust and then for powder shadows what do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so then i've got three powder shadows the l'oreal this one is ground blue then we've got uh amber rush l'oreal infallible amber rush and l'oreal infallible silver sky okay now we're on powders and highlighters Okay, moving on to highlighters and powders. I want to do this in three more series. So for powders, we're going to do these. The Bare Minerals Invisible Light Powder. This has a setting powder and a highlighter. Laura Mercier Secret Brightening. Laura Geller. You know what? Nope. I did the other one like it. The Cover FX uh, Setting Powder in Light. And then, I know I don't like that one. And then the Besame Vanilla Powder. So three loose powders, one pressed powder. I don't have any pigment powders. And then for highlighters, I split them up into little sections. So I'm just going to grab this first section. And this has the Laura Mercier, and this is the Matte Radiance Powder in Highlight 01. LA Girl Strobe Light Powder in 100 Watt. Mary Luminizer from the Balm. The Hard Candy, what is this, Tiki Bronzer. And then Wet n Wild Fergie. So those are the five highlights. Okay, for concealers, I'm going to pull out all of them because three of them are color correcting. So I'm going to pull out, I should have split these up, but we've got three color correctors, the NYX Dark Circle, the Maybelline Master Camo, and the Pro Conceal. This one's not really correcting. And then the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. So two concealers, two correctors will make it work. Then primers. So I'm going to pull out these four. The Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing. The Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing. 3D Effect Ipkin New York Radiant Primer something. And then the Too Faced Prime New Poreless, which I think has gone bad. I'm going to pull out the shimmer this is the temp to shimmer bronzer i'm gonna pull out both of these cream blushes because why not and then we'll do three and three so i'm gonna pull out two liquids and a cream so this one is wisp by ColourPop, and then two of these cover effects in moonlight and celestial okay five foundations we've got the makeup forever ultra hd 
the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion, the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur, NYX Total Control Drops, and Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. For setting sprays, I've only got a few left. Let's pull out Caudalie and D-Slick. So Caudalie uh, Beauty Elixir and D-Slick. This one will wait for the next time. I'm going to pull out this eye serum and see what it does under makeup. It's the Nip and Fab No Needle Fix Eye. And then the Clinique Pep Start Instant Blur Moisturizer. And MAC Strobe Cream. i got to pull out a bunch of these. Three for eight weeks. So if I pull out five. So we've got six, six, and then six in my hand. So it's a lot of eyeshadows, but I, I want to get through this in three. So Lorac Mega Pro 2, Anastasia Modern Renaissance, Too Faced Chocolate. This is a ColourPop Single Shadow Palette. The Maybelline The City Mini Palette. This one is in Chill Brunch Neutrals. And then my LA Girl Eye Lux. So six eyeshadow palettes. That's a lot. Bronzers. I'm going to pull these three. So the Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil. Milani Baked Bronzer in Dulce, and then Hula Bronzer. Then we've got two bronzers left. For face palettes, I'm going to pull the Tarte Blush Book and the Maybelline Master Contour 1. I'm pretty sure this will be the one that I'm going to keep. For blushes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to pull these four. So Studio Makeup, Soft Blend Blush, and Wildflower. That one I love. I'm going to keep it. I already know Tarte Sensual, the Makeup Forever sample thing, and then this Ofer palette. I mean, just contains a blush. I don't even know which one it is, but we'll see if I'm gonna keep it. Lip sticks. I think I'm just gonna take the skincare part out. The more I'm thinking about it, the more it just doesn't fit, and I prefer to just do the makeup, and I'm sure you guys do too. So we're just gonna do makeup. Let's start with liquid lipstick. I pulled nine. <laughs> um, so we're gonna make this work. Huda Beauty uh, Bombshell, Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in Nude Thrill, Liquid Catsuit in Nudie Patootie, which that one's for sure going, Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Lip Cream, I like that one, NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm, Ofra Americano, ColourPop Ultra Satin, Strut. The Too Faced Melted Matte Holy Chic. This CoverGirl Outlast All Day Intense. I'm for sure getting rid of that one. I'm actually just going to throw that one now. And I want to pull out the other Too Faced Melted Mattes along with that. So I also grabbed the uh, Cool Girl Melted Matte and Sell Out Melted Matte. So that's a lot of liquid lipsticks. I think it's like 10. It's fine. Now I have eight, let's do nine glosses. The Koki Lip Veneer, the Maybelline Color Jolts in Strip Down and Ready or Not, Hard Candy Pumping Serum Lip Gloss, Revlon, what is this one? Supernatural, one of my favorite lip glosses of all time. I'm just gonna pull both of them. Counts as one. The Japanese Lip Lacquer, it doesn't have a name. And then, The two Mariah Carey lip glosses, I know I'm keeping these. I'm not even going to test them. I'm just going to put them over with... I need one more lip gloss. I'm going to pull one of the Fenty Beauties. Let's do this one, the Melted Latex. We'll pull that one. Then for lipstick, let's see how many we have. 24 divided by 3 is 8, so we'll pull 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight lipstick. The two other of these L'Oreal Color Riche Shine. I have Glossy Fawn and Sparkling Rose. Urban Decay uh, Naked Lipstick. A little mini Urban Decay Big Bang. It's like sparkly pink. The Dose of Colors Katie Desi, Desi Katie in No Shade. Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in Honey. The Revlon Berry Rich Lipstick. And then the 
L.O.C. Tati lipstick in Wildest Dreams. And I'm also gonna grab some of these samples, liquid lipsticks. We've got Tardis Lip Paint and Birthday Suit, Dila Perla. This ColourPop one is so old, I'm getting rid of it. And then the Touch and Soul Metalist lipstick. So that is it for the products that I'm pulling. Like I said earlier, I think I'm gonna stop doing skincare. So if you're curious about the skincare that I'm using, let me know if you don't like that I'm doing that but I just don't think it fits in with what I'm what I'm doing right now and I just don't think you guys really care. I'm sure you don't care about the skincare and I don't really enjoy filming it it feels very repetitive so I'll continue to show you guys like the things I'm using up from my skincare but I'm not gonna keep filming me pulling out the same exact skincare every time so that's it for this video let me know what you guys want to see more of I'm going to do some get ready with me's using these products. So if you have any products that I've pulled that you want to see me using those, let me know. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see swatches of all of these products, uh, stay tuned to the next video because I'll swatch them kind of like I did today. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Okay, so for the skincare portion, like the wrap up, I'm not going to show you guys every single product again because they're not going to change that much but I'm gonna show you guys the things that I'm pulling out and then I'll show you guys the things or the things that I'm getting rid of and I'm gonna show you guys the things that I'm getting rid of and then I'll also show you guys the things that I'm pulling out to replace them but I'm not gonna show you everything that's staying the same so first thing I finished up Peter Thomas Roth water drench hyaluronic cloud cream this was nice I felt like it moisturized my skin but I broke out while I was using it and I think it was this I also finally used the Dr. Dart Pore Minimalist, and I think it worked. It's like a black mask. Like, the mask itself is literally black, but I liked it. I'm about to use up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup, so I'm going to pull out a replacement for this because that's going to be done in a second. The Nip Fab Skin Glycolic Scrub, it fell off my counter, and the little, like, piece got stuck in there, so I couldn't squeeze it out. And then when I was like forcing it to, I actually popped this. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then finally, I used up the fresh, finally I also used up the fresh black tea mask. So those are all the skincare products I'm getting rid of. I'm going to go through and pull out my new products and I will show you guys what I get.